Welcome, I hope that you're doing well. By the end of this video, you will be able to add ties or slurs to the music that you're creating in MuseScore 3. Let's get started. So you will want to have MuseScore open, and I'm currently working on Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Now a quick note, the difference between a tie and a slur, while they look identical, the same line is used, they are different. So a slur, as I have just notated, is uh, used between two different notes. So you see the first note I had there was a C, a middle C, and then I connected that to a G. So that is a slur, and what it does is it's uh, used to play a legato sound or a, a connected sound where you connect the C to the G. Now, a tie will look very similar in that uh, it, it uses the same line that the, that the slur uses, but it's going to be between the same note. So I'm gonna have the first C highlighted, and if I press the tie button, it will uh, join the C to the C, and what will happen is uh, you will have a um, note that is held for, instead of one beat, it will now be added, uh, add the two beats together, so you have one plus one, so you'd have a two beat um, tie. And again, you can use these in many different ways. So, so to dig in, um, you've kind of already seen how I added each one of those, but um, let's uh, stick with the tie for a second. So in order to add a, a tie, you will want to select the note you uh, want to add the tie to, and then go up to the top uh, part of your screen, and you'll see there's a um, symbol for a tie, and I'm just going to click that, and now it added the tie between the first C and the second C. Now, uh, you can do it that way, or you can um, highlight the note that you want to have uh, tied, and just press the plus uh, button on your keyboard. So you can use uh, the plus button to either add a tie. So uh, for my keyboard, I have to press shift and plus. Uh, uh, and then you, if you have a number pad, you could also just uh, press plus. So I used a shift and plus, and now I've got the tie there. And now when I play this back, instead of attacking two notes here, it will be one half note and then um, the second, the, the, the third beat. So I'm just gonna play this so you can hear the tie uh, is working with playback. So you can see it worked correctly. Now, uh, one thing that I've noticed, um, I've seen uh, a lot of people have uh, issues with either ties or slurs. So if you're having any playback issues with the uh, tie, most likely what may have happened is that sometimes if you just click the tie and then press delete like this, um, sometimes it'll stay, uh, the tie will still be there. So let me press play and you'll see what I mean. Well, I didn't do it that time, but sometimes um, if you uh, don't delete it properly, the tie will um, you know, basically still be played in playback. So in order to ensure that that doesn't happen, you wanna make sure that you always use this button to add a tie or to eliminate a tie. So if you use that button, I've noticed that um, it will uh, be able to um, add or delete a tie so that it does it correctly in playback. And then, so that's how you add a tie. Now, a couple things about a tie are that you can, um, you know, extend uh, the tie as long as you would like. So let's say um, I've got a half note here on the um, uh, last measure of that first system. And let's say I wanted to add a half note on the next bar. Now I can add my tie uh, between those two, uh, between those two. So I wanna uh, select the first note and then press the tie. Now, another thing you can do is, let's say I wanted to add a tie at the end of uh, the next note that I've got there. So I'm gonna delete that. And let's say I wanted to tie on this one. If I just press the plus, you can see it adds a tie to the next E, so from E to E. Okay, let's say you wanted to put a tie between bar lines. Um, one way you could do that is if you notice I'm adding these notes, and then let's say I wanna have a tie to here. Okay, so I wanna have a tie to the following beat, the following system. Again, I would select this, press tie, and it will add the tie between those two systems. Um, and again, if you ever wanna change the break of where uh, your notes are, you can come down to here to breaks and spacers, and then just uh, drag that to the measure that you wanna have be the last uh, bar of that line. Okay, 
Um, so that was how to add a tie to the nodes that you're working with. Let's say you would like to add a slur. Um, slurs are a little easier. And uh, slur, what you would do is you come over to the left hand side here and you're going to click on lines. And then the first one there is the slur. And remember, a slur needs to go between two different notes. So I'm going to drag and drop that to this note. Now, you can, um, you know, take a slur and drag it to a note that is, um, you know, that are the same note. But I want you to know that if you do that, if you use the slur line in playback, it's not going to work. So like we mentioned earlier, one of the main areas that people have problems with playback is with not using the tie correctly. Um, so the same thing with the uh, lines uh, for the slur. If you use a slur line here in the playback, it's going to act like a slur. So it's going to play both of those notes. So make sure that for your playback, you use the correct line for each one, either the tie or the slur. And again, if you would like to adjust this uh, uh, slur, you can um, go ahead and once you click on it, it'll make these uh, boxes and you can drag and drop. You can drag it to the next note if you want. And the, the nice thing is if you want to go across the bar, the system, you can just drag to the next system and that will add the slur to the next system. And again, um, it will um, you know play these in a legato fashion um, rather than um, in, say, a tie. Um, and to delete an element, you just click, this, you click it and then it'll turn blue and then you just press delete on your keyboard. The shortcut for adding a slur is the letter S. So let's say I have this note uh, here and I want to um, make a slur for the next one. Just press S on your keyboard. So that's the shortcut uh, for a slur. So again, to review, uh, the shortcut for a tie is the plus key and uh, the shortcut for a slur is the S key. And to use the shortcut, you just click the note you would like to have uh, the slur or tie begin, and then you press uh, either plus or S for each one. So one quick way to uh, check to see if you wrote a slur or a tie is to click one of the notes in the slur or tie, and then just press the up button. If only one of, if the note that you selected goes up, then that means it's a slur. But if you had a tie, so let's say I had a tie written here. Now, when I press the up button, both notes rise so or fall. So again, just that's one quick way that you can find out whether you um, had originally put a tie or a slur. You now know how to add a tie or a slur to the music that you're creating in MuseScore. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments section below. I'll do my best to answer those. I have other MuseScore 3 tutorials available. I'll put links to those videos around this one. Uh, if you enjoy this, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. I thank you and I'll see you in the next video.